Welcome to the YouTube channel of Farooq Air Secondary School. Myself, I am Hashim, Principal and Faculty of Zoology. Dear Shure, today, through this small video clip, we will discuss one of the important topic in the plus two biology, first chapter, human reproduction. And the topic is Gametogenesis. As you know, in a sexually reproducing individual, a new individual is formed from a single cell, namely zygote, which in turn formed by the union of two haploid cells, one from the male parent and the other from the female parent. So the first and important event in sexual reproduction is the formation of sex cell and gametogenesis is that process by which in the reproductive organs of male and female the gametes are formed. So if you are defining gametogenesis it is the process of formation of gametes for sexual reproduction. In man, gametogenesis involves two processes, namely spermatogenesis, spermatogenesis, and also oogenesis. Spermatogenesis is the formation of sperms in the male reproductive organ, that is, testis, sperms in the testes and oogenesis is the formation of egg the female gamete the female gamete in ova so in this class we will discuss spermatogenesis in an elaborate manner let us consider spermatogenesis in an elaborate manner in human beings, spermatogenesis begins at the age of puberty under the influence of certain hormones. So the major hormones which stimulate spermatogenesis in man are number one, one hypothalamic hormone, namely gonadotropin releasing hormone. So the gonadotropin releasing hormone secreted by the hypothalamus stimulate, stimulate the anterior part of the pituitary, the anterior part of the pituitary to stimulate anterior part of the pituitary to secrete two important hormones, namely luteinizing hormone, luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormone. So the luteinizing hormone secreted by the anterior pituitary under the influence of gonadotropin releasing hormone stimulate the Leydig cells, the Leydig cells to produce androgenic hormone, androgenic hormone. Similarly, the follicle stimulating hormone FSH secreted by anterior pituitary stimulate the Sertoli cells, the Sertoli cells to produce certain factors, certain factors. So these factors so the factors produced by Sertoli cells and the androgenic hormones secreted by Leydig cells stimulate spermatogenesis. Now let us consider the process of spermatogenesis in an elaborate manner. So spermatogenesis begins at puberty. As I already told you, spermatogenesis begins at puberty. 
Liberty, the primordial germ cell present in the seminiferous tubules of the testes undergo repeated mitotic division, which results in the formation of large number of sperm mother cell, namely spermatogonia, which contain 2n number of chromosomes, that is, diploid number of chromosomes. The spermatogonia thus formed by the mitotic division of primordial germ cell present in the seminiferous tubules, some of the spermatogonia grows into primary spermatocyte. which is also having 2n number of chromosomes. Here also division is mitosis and therefore whatever chromosome number is there in the parent cell, it is retained in the daughter cell also. So the primary spermatocyte having 2n number of chromosomes enters into the next stage and this is the maturation phase. So the maturation phase involves two meiotic division in which the first meiotic division is reduction division and the second one is equational division. So the primary spermatocyte undergo first meiotic division, first meiotic division which results in the formation of two secondary spermatocytes from each primary spermatocyte having n number of chromosomes, haploid number of chromosomes. Again, the secondary spermatocyte undergo second meiotic division which is equational division which results in the formation of spermatids. Spermatids, which is also having n number of chromosomes. I repeat, spermatogenesis is the process of formation of sperm in the testes. It begins at puberty. The primordial germ cell present in the seminiferous tubules of the testes undergo repeated mitotic division which results in the formation of large number of sperm mother cell namely spermatogonia having 2n number of chromosomes. Again, some of the spermatogonia thus formed grow into large cells and they transforms into primary spermatocyte which is also having 2n number of chromosomes. Then the primary spermatocyte enters into the next phase, which is the maturation phase, which includes two meiotic division. One is reduction division and the other is equational division. So the primary spermatocyte undergo first meiotic division, which results in the formation of two secondary spermatocytes from each primary spermatocyte. Now, secondary spermatocyte undergo second meiotic division, which results in the formation of spermatids, which is also having n number of chromosomes. So the spermatids this form transforms, soon transforms into Sperms, sperms, by the process of spermiogenesis, by the process of spermiogenesis. So let me conclude my topic. Today, we will discuss the process of spermatogenesis. Spermatogenesis begins at puberty and the primordial germ cells present in the seminiferous tubules of the testes undergo repeated mitotic division 
to form spermatogonia or sperm mother cell having two n number of chromosomes. So the spermatogonia, some of the spermatogonia grow into large sites and they transform into primary spermatocyte having a point, the point number of chromosomes. Then it enters into the maturation phase. As I already told you, maturation phase involves two meiotic division. First one is reduction division and the second one is equation division. So the primary spermatocyte undergoes second meiotic division, first meiotic division, which results in the formation of secondary spermatocyte having haploid number of chromosomes. Again, the second spermatocyte undergoes second meiotic division, which results in the formation of spermatids, which is also having n number of chromosomes. So the spermatids undergo differentiation to transform into sperm and that process is termed as what is known as spermiogenesis. So the sperms that form in the seminiferous tubules lying embedded in the sertoli cells from there, from the seminiferous tubules it is released by the process of spermiation, spermiation. by the process of spermiation. So you have to write notes on what is gametogenesis and also explain the process of spermatogenesis in a detailed manner. So with that, we will complete our discussion on spermatogenesis. So we will see you in the very next day with another class. Till then, goodbye. Thank you very much.